I get lots of questions like what is an add-on that shows the price on the screen, what is the name of the add-on that appears in the middle of the screen and similar. I'm getting more than 20 similar questions every week on almost every video and live stream. And as always I respond with an answer TSM and Lootapriser. TSM is an add-on that uh, will show you the price of mats and Lootapriser is an add-on that will show that price on the screen. So you need both add-ons installed and connected. But of course it's kinda hard to make them work, so in this video I'll show you TSM and Lootapriser installation and setup. Just watch this video carefully, follow the steps and you'll be fine. And now let's start. First you should install CurseForge application. With CurseForge you will install add-ons for your game much faster and easier. Just go to their website curseforge.com, click on the get desktop and then download. When you download it, just install it, when you open it for the first time, choose a game, in this case WoW, and then you can search and install any add-on you need. It's simple and you probably already have this, so I won't talk about this anymore. Now search for TSM Trade Skill Master and then just install TSM and TSM App Helper. When you finish with TSM installation, just install Lootapriser. Install both Lootapriser and Lootapriser Challenge add-on. Lootapriser is the add-on that will show the prices on the screen and Lootapriser Challenge is an add-on that we use for challenges in my live streams for example. With installation of these add-ons, you finished the first and easiest part of configuration of these add-ons. Now let's set up TSM add-on. You already installed it, uh, but TSM is useless without doing the next things that I will show you in the video. These things are very important and try to watch what I am doing carefully and just follow the steps. If you have some trouble with following the steps, just pause the video, do the step and then move forward to the next step. If you still have some trouble, just leave a comment below this video. So let's start with the hard part. Go to tradeskillmaster.com website and log in to your TSM account. If you don't have it and you probably don't have it, just make it. It will take probably less than one minute. I have an account already, so I'll just log in. When you are in, go to your account name, app configuration and then realm selection. Just add your realm here, if you are playing on more realms, just add all of them. But I would suggest you to try only with one main realm for the beginning. Just find your realm here, click add realm and that's it. I play only on Ravencrest, so I'll remove this one now. Now click on install TSM. Uh, we installed TSM add-on already with CurseForge and uh, all we have to do now is to download TSM application. Download it and install it. When you install this application on your PC, open this application and log in on your TSM account that you created a few minutes ago. Now just wait for some time so this app can get the data from the website about the prices on the realms you picked. In this case Ravencrest. So this can take a few minutes, just wait some time and when it ends just open the game and now you will see the prices of materials and items that you can sell on the auction house. Of course don't close this TSM application, just minimize it. This app have uh, to work always on your PC if you want the updated price from the auction house. Sometimes when you log in uh, on your WoW account it can be laggy, but don't worry, just wait a few minutes because TSM is probably updating the prices from the auction house. Just wait a few minutes and everything will be okay. Now when TSM is working, you can see the prices of mats when you put the cursor on them, but we want the prices to appear on the screen when you loot the mats or BOEs for example. For that we need Lootapriser add-on. We already installed it with uh, CurseForge application and all we have to do now is to test it. You can find the icon of Lootapriser add-on near your minimap. Now follow the settings carefully to set up your Lootapriser add-on properly. Before you start farming just left click on it to open it and it will work. When you open it, it will collect the data about the items you pick up and about their prices from the auction house from your TSM add-on. You can play with the settings in this add-on and for example just right click on Lootapriser icon and you will get this window on the screen. For example you can activate this auto start thing here 
so next time when you start farming it will automatically start without starting it manually you can do that but I prefer to start it uh, when I want to start it and when I actually want to start real gold farming that's a nice feature but I prefer turning it on manually the second thing you can do and you should do here is to change the price source you can do some other things like auto repair gear, auto sell grey items and more but I will stick to important things in the video and this price source thing is pretty important just click on this little arrow and you can select the price source of the items you will farm for example you can choose between lots of different sources custom price, market value price, minimum buyout, region market value average, region global sale average and more I would recommend you to pick minimum buyout or region market value average for example with minimum buyout you'll get the minimum price from your realm of the items you get from the farm this will probably show you the closest value of the things uh, you will loot and you want to sell on the auction house but it will be tricky because sometimes people undercut the price a lot and you can get the wrong value but usually it will be okay the reason I prefer market value average price source is because when I make the videos about gold farms these average market value prices are the most fair options for everyone and for example when we do 2x4 farms or transmog farms we use this price source for our loot appraiser challenge add-on it's up to you what price source uh, you want to pick of course you can change it anytime I always pick the region market value average and the prices are usually similar to the prices of my realm now let's set up loot appraiser notifications this thing will show you the prices of things you loot on the screen we'll just change the quality filter and gold alert threshold you can play with the sounds and warnings but that's up to you important thing here is that you can change the quality filter for example loot appraiser add-on can show the price of poor common uncommon rare epic items you get from the farm for example if you want to go gathering farms you should put common quality filter if you want to farm transmogs you should put uncommon and if you want to farm boes you should put epic it's up to you you can just put uncommon always and it's gonna be okay in most situations gold alert threshold is the minimum price of the item that will appear on the screen when you loot it for example if you do gathering farm and you are looting the herbs and uh, they are 11 gold for example you can put the gold alert on 10 gold of course only if you want to see them on your screen when you loot them it's up to you and you can play with these things as you want there are a few more tabs in this window like display tsm groups and about but i wouldn't change anything here and now let me quickly show you how to use loot appraiser challenge add-on if you want to farm in a group for example with me in 2x4 groups so usually all you have to do is to click on this little plus here where you are in your loot appraiser add-on window then go challenge and you can play with settings here in host tabs you can uh, change your name put the duration quality filter price source and description but usually all you have to do is to click on invitations and click accept in this tab and uh, that's it and then when you get ready check just press yes and uh, then all you have to do is to make lots of gold if you like this video and if i help you don't forget to like this video subscribe use super thanks and become the member of the game part thank you for watching and good luck farming